So one of the questions that I've been asking all of the presenters is to imagine what the world would be like if we were successful in helping people to ditch dieting, to move it out of their life. And I'm talking about that fad dieting. And we're able to help people to learn how to eat mindfully, to listen to their body, to deal with that inner critic, to be able to identify their feelings, to help them make uh, healthier choices about food. What do you imagine the world would be like? You know, I feel like fad diets, they get in the way of us being, and it gets in the way of us um, in relationships and loving, you know, our, our family and our friends. So I feel like, I don't know, I'm like, wow, I think it would even like lead to curing diseases and world peace because I feel like we would just have more of ourselves present. Oh my, I, I literally think wars would end. Yeah. <laughs> like, I really, truly believe that. I, I think... I think, you know, practice, mental health illness would go way down. Suicide rates would go way down. Oh, there would be no wars because we wouldn't be at, our, we wouldn't be at war with ourselves yes. with our nutrition. Yep. As we internally become clear, we eat what's healthy for us. We're taking in from the earth. We're being organic and natural as much as we can. We're not at war with others. Well, yeah, of course, people's health would change. So we would absolutely turn around our chronic health crisis within the matter of probably Six months. I mean, just think about that. If everyone implemented just what you're teaching, Dr. Alves, on this summit, within six months, probably about 90% of our health crisis would be solved without insurance companies, without government involvement, and it would be very simple, very easy, and very affordable. The other thing I really think that it would do is it would strengthen all of our bonds, which, you know, the more we learn about our psychology, the more we learn about our innate ability, our bonds with Ourself, our bonds with our significant others, our bonds with our families are the most important things. They really develop our entire health habits throughout our life, basically. I think that people would be eating meals together the majority of the time. I don't think that people would be eating in isolation. They wouldn't be eating in their cars. Um, I think that there would be... Um, I mean, there would have to be a lot deeper emotional connection between people. Um, well, I can, can refer back to the Thich Nhat Hanh quote, peace in yourself, peace in the world. Um, it could end world hunger. You know, mindful eating is not just about the food on your plate and you. Right. It's about feeling connected, the common humanity, to all people around the world mm -hmm. who suffer similarly and suffer differently. And so in feeding ourselves and attuning ourselves with our hunger, we would also be tuning into other people's hungers. The moment people reconnect and take care of themselves, that they also open up for the suffering of, of other living beings, of uh, how the earth is treated by big companies or food industries, and that they start feeling compassion for that. You'd have a lot more happy people. Yeah. I agree. You'd have a lot more healthy people, and the individual would stop the misery and the struggle of a, a wasted energy activity. We're really talking about something much bigger, aren't we? Yes. Because craving isn't just about food. Um, we aren't, um, you know, all or nothing just about food, right or wrong, black or white. Our thinking is that way. Um, how we approach what we own or buy or do or how we speak is all about mindfulness also. So you're talking about an amazing change if we could all bring more mindfulness into our lives. I think we, I was going to say women, but men do it too. Yes. We would stop beating ourselves up about what we're eating and about what we weigh, yeah. and we would be so much more accepting of ourselves and all of our human frailties and imperfections. I think about all of the time and energy and money it would free up when you think about how much money people are spending on their diet products true, and true. how much time every day they're obsessing about it. I have one word, pleasure. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is actually, for me, it's the secret of the French because uh, if you think about the, the way you eat, if you eat with pleasure and no guilt, you're actually going to savor the food and be satisfied earlier. Yes, you'd be bringing your A game yeah. and you would be all smiles and just that energy and positivity 
and lightness and happiness, um, I think would make this world a really happy place and I and a healthy place. But I think on the whole, that if people would be in a place of mindfulness and self-acceptance, the world would be a much happier place. And you know, people get cranky when they're hungry and they're dieting. <laughs> I'll tell you what, happier has been the number one response. And two, and you were kind of alluding to this, that there would be so much more time available and space open up in people's mind to think about other things that are going on in their lives, to be more creative, to focus on relationships. So time and happiness. And so it just reemphasized to me how important it is to get that message out and to introduce people to it because the results and the impact would just be amazing and to move out this approach that has kept us sick, unhealthy, obsessed, and just doesn't doesn't work anymore in our world. Yeah. Yeah. It distracts us from what really is important. Yeah. What a better world this place would be because instead of people spending their mind and their energy and their money in the pursuit of futile dieting, they would be discovering what is their purpose, what's meaningful for them. They would be present in their relationships as opposed to being distracted counting the calories or, or what whatnot. So I think it would be a much, much better place, more peaceful place actually. And I look forward to that day. Yeah.